السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته شابتر 12 ماركتينج تشانلز ديليفرينج كاستمر فاليو Now we are speaking about where, where we should offer our product, where we should offer our product. Uh, if we want to answer this simple question, we can answer it, it uh, we, we, we should offer uh, our product where our target customer, where our target customer. So a distribution, it's our subject in this chapter, Uh, uh, it's uh, it's a matter of uh, supply chain uh, and demand chain. Yes, this supply chain consists of upstream and downstream partners. Upstream partners include raw material suppliers, components, parts, information, finance, and expertise to create a product or a service. Downstream partners include the marketing channel or distribution channels that look toward the customer. It's a matter of two types of chain, supply chain and the value-driven network. Supply chain view, supply chain make and sell. View includes the firm's raw material, productive inputs, and factory capacity, and demand chain, since, since and respond. View suggested that planning starts with the needs of the target customer, and the firm responds to this need by organizing a chain of resources and activities with the goal of creating customer value. Actually, we are speaking about a value delivery network. A value delivery network, it's the firm supplies, distributors, and ultimately customers who partner with each other to improve the performance of interior system. How channel members add value? Producers try to figure a marketing channel or distribution channel, a set of independent organizations that help make a product or service available for use or consumption by the customer or the business users. Intermediaries. <clears throat> Intermediaries. <clears throat> offer <clears throat> producers <clears throat> greater efficiency in making goods available to target markets through their context, experience, specialization, and the scale of operations. Intermediaries usually offer the firm more than, more than it can achieve on its own. What is the function? What is the function of a channel member? <clears throat> uh, from an economic view, intermediaries uh, transform the assortment of products into assortments wanted by consumer. Channel members add value by bridging major time place and and try to fill the gap that spread goods and services from those who would use them how many function it's eight function information promotion contact matching negotiation physical distribution and financing and risk taking channel members function members of the marketing channel perform many key function information the first function information gathering and distributing marketing research and intelligence information 
was actor and forces in the market environment needed for planning and adding exchange. Promotion, delivering and spreading persuasive communication about an offer. Content, finding and communicating with a prospective buyers, matching, shaping and fitting the offer to the buyer's need, including activities such as manufacturing, grading, assembling and packing, negotiation, reaching an argument, uh, agreement, re uh, reaching an agreement on price and the other terms of the offer so that uh, ownership can be transferred. Physical distribution, distributing and storing goods, financing, acquiring, and using funds to cover the costs of the channel work and finally risk taking assuming uh, assuming the risk of carrying out the channel work this is the nature and the importance of a marketing channel this is a number of contacts without a distributor a number of contact with a distributor for sure with a distributor it's a more simple and accurate network <clears throat> number of channel levers companies can design their distribution channel to make products and services available to consumer in different ways each area of marketing intermediaries that perform some work in bridging the product and its ownership closer to final buyers is a, a channel of it because both of a producer and the final consumer perform some work they are part of every channel <clears throat> this a number of this is a number of uh, channel levels we are speaking about customer marketing channels <coughs> not the business channels <coughs> the traditional way from producer to wholesaler to retailer to customer or consumer and we can make it more shorter by <coughs> delivering directly <coughs> or distributing directly from a producer to retailer to consumer or a direct channel from a producer to consumer. It depends on a product type. It depends on a product type. Uh, um, <clears throat> the expiry date and the many other factors. A channel level is each area of a marketing intermediary that performs some work in bridging the product and its ownership closer to the final buyers. The number of intermediaries level indicates the length of a channel. A direct marketing channel has no intermediary levels the company sell directly to consumers. <coughs> An indirect marketing channel contains one or more intermediaries. For the producer's point of view, a greater number of levels mean less control and greater channel complexity. How to design a channel, I mean a channel design decision. To design a distribution uh, channel, our channel decision or a channel design decision, 
we should go for four steps. <clears throat> Step one, analyzing customer needs. Analyzing customer need. Marketing channels are part of the overall consumer value delivery network. Each channel members and deliver at the value for the customer. Thus, designing the marketing channel starts with finding out uh, what target consumer want from the channel. Finding out what target consumer want from the channel. What segment to serve? Best channel to use? Minimize the cost of meeting customer service requirement. Second step, setting a channel objectives. Companies should state their marketing channel objective in terms of a targeted level of customer service. Usually a company can identify several segments wanting different level of service. The company should decide which segment to serve and the best channel to use in each case targeted levels of customer service. Balance customer need not only against the visibility and costs of meeting this need but also against customer price preferences. Third <coughs> step identify major alternative. When the company has defined its channel objectives, it should next identify its major channel alternative in terms of the type of intermediaries, the number of intermediaries, and the responsibilities of each channel member. Identify major alternatives. The alternative it's three alternative intensive distribution for for a convenience product or selective distribution for a shopping product and the final executive distribution for a luxury or a prestigious or a specialty product. Intensive distribution stocking the product in as uh, many outlets as possible. Executive distribution limited the number of intermediaries handling their products and selective distribution. This is the use of more than one but fewer than all of the intermediaries who are willing to carry a company's product. And finally, Finally, evaluating the major alternative. Uh, suppose that uh, a company has identified several channel alternatives <coughs> and want to select the one that will best satisfy its young one wants to keep the channel flexible so it's, it, it, it can adapt to environmental changes. Each alternative should be evaluated against economic criteria, control, and finally, adaptive criteria. Thank you, my students, and see you next lecture, inshallah.